Today we're going to be looking at the new Howard Benson Vocals Plugin by Joey Sturgis Tones. This is meant to be an all-in-one plugin to make your dry vocal track sound great from start to finish without using any other plugin. So we're going to do an overview of the plugin, we're going to look at its features, and I'm also going to show you how it works with other Joey Sturgis plugins for guitar. The song I'm going to be using today is called Wake by my band Anger Thought, and I'm going to be using the Tone Ford's Misha Mansoor for my guitar tracks. So this song has already been released, but as you can see, I have a mic here. So I'm going to be recording a new vocal track so I can use it to show you how the plugin works. So before we check out the plugin, I want to give a thank you to Joey Sturgis Tones for sponsoring this video and giving me a chance to try it out. So let's get started. All right, so now it's time to talk about this plugin. I'm gonna show you what it looks like first. So as you can see here, there are seven modules. There is one for vocals, which is a compressor. There is an EQ, which is self-explanatory, a uh, multiplier, which kind of tries to emulate the sound of several vocal tracks on top of each other. Then the fourth one here is a width module. The fifth is an echo, which is a delay. The sixth is called space, which is a reverb. And then the last one here is an output module, which just pretty much just controls the volume of what's happening. All right, so the first little guy here, we have the vocals module. I'm not sure why they didn't just call it a compressor, but um, we have a compressor's little knob right here, a gain knob with an auto makeup button, and then a grit knob, and also a two warp button. So this is what my track sounds like on its own. I'm gonna play a little snippet of it. This is without any effects. This is me of my fantasy. I'm riding the wake. And this is it with all of the other tracks. This is me of my fantasy. So you can't really hear it very well with all the other things going on in the mix. So let's solo it again. And let's hear what happens when I turn up the compressor a little bit. This is me of my fantasy. I'm riding the wake. I'd probably keep that about right here. Nice. All right, so let's go to the EQ module now. All right, so this is the EQ module. So we have high, mids, and lows that you can play with, a little compressor button, a little high pass filter button, and a low fi button. So for this guy, I'm just gonna turn up the mids a little bit. Let's see what the low fi button does. This is me. Of my fantasy, oh, really cool. I'm riding the wake. All right, so that was pretty self-explanatory. Let's move along to the multiplier. So let's move to a different part of the song so you don't have to listen to the same thing over and over again. All right, so the multiplier seems pretty fun. All right, so this is what it sounds like without. Feel your mind, feel the peace, let the rage go. And this is what it sounds like with. I'm going to turn the amount up to about half and the offset up to about half also. Feel your mind, feel the peace, let the rage go. That sounds really nice. It really does sound like I tracked more than one vocal track. So I feel like what this does is it takes the original track and it doubles it. And to the second track, it just kind of makes it a little drunk, kind of manipulates it a little bit to sound slightly different. And the more you turn up the offset, the more 
drunk it sounds. Alright, cool. I'm going to turn the multiplier off while we explore the other modules in the plugin, but I'm going to leave it at those settings so we can come back to it later. Alright, so this one is the width. This one I feel like I can use in pretty much any vocal track that I have. Let's turn the width up to halfway and see what happens. Feel your mind, feel the peace, let the rage go. Let's turn it all the way up. Feel your mind, feel the peace, let the rage go. Nice. So I can really use this in pretty much every vocal track that I make. Um, I really like how this sounds, and I'm really excited that they included this in the plugin. Now let's go to the next module. I'm going to cut the width off so that we can really hear what the next module will sound like on their own. Alright, so this one is going to be fun. This one is called the Echo, and it's a delay module. So I made a mistake here. This is going to sound a little weird because the project file that I'm working in, the grid, isn't lined up with the song that I'm playing. I just kind of pop the song in there and put some vocals over it. So um, the delay isn't going to line up, but you can still get an idea of what it sounds like. So this is what it sounds like with the amount knob turned up halfway. This is me of my of fantasy. My fantasy. I'm, riding I'm riding the wake. wake. OK, so let's switch this node right here and see what that does. This is me of my fantasy. I'm riding the wake. Let's try a dotted quarter note. This is me of my fantasy. I'm riding the wake. That's going to be really fun to play with. Oh, cool. I don't use delay on my vocals very much, but I feel like this can really come in handy at the right time. I'm going to turn that guy off so we can move on to the next one. All right, so this one is called Space. And I think I could use this for pretty much any vocal track that I have. So I'm going to turn the amount up halfway. Actually, screw it. Let's go all the way up. Just for fun. Let's see what that sounds like. This is me of my fantasy. wide hallway. Like I can't even see myself right now. I'm so far away. That sounds really good. Now let's turn the size all the way down and see what that sounds like. This is me of my fantasy. Let's go halfway. I'm riding the wake. This new side of me I suddenly spaced. Alright, so let's play with the next one. Alright, so this little guy is called the Output. It's pretty self-explanatory, but let's go over a couple things. So this knob here controls the gain. Obviously, it's basically the point of this module is to control the volume. I'm going to keep it at 50. I don't really need to turn anything up. And this little button right here switches the output from the last position in the signal chain to the first. Okay, so for the sake of showing you what this button does, I'm going to turn on all the effects that I have so far and turn up the gain knob a little bit. Here is the button while it is off and the output module is the last thing in the signal chain. Feel your mind, feel the peace, let the rage go. Here it is with the button on. 
Feel your mind, feel the peace, let the rage. And other than that, we have a limiter button. I'm going to keep that guy on. I'm going to move this guy back down. And yeah, this power button. Let's see. What does this guy do? Oh, it literally just turns the plug in on and off. Okay, awesome. All right, so I'm going to show you what I have for the whole signal chain. I'm going to turn everything that I need on and show you what the track sounds like with the plug in by itself. All right, so this is what I have for the entire plugin. So as you can see here, I use the compressor a tiny bit. I turned on the auto makeup button for the gain, and I did not use any of the grit. For the EQ, I just turned up the mids a little bit. For the multiplier, I turned the offset up a little bit and the amount up to, let's turn it up to half. And for the width, I added almost half of the width and took the range. I can't see those little numbers. It looks like it's all the way up to 25. And I turned on the mono low end button. And I am not using any of the echo right now. I am using the space. I turned them the size and the amount up pretty much halfway. And for the output, I turn the gain up a hair and turn the limiter button on. So let's see what that sounds like. This is me, oh my fantasy, and this is with everything turned off, so you can hear it again. This is me, of my fantasy. I'm riding the wake. Okay, awesome. So let's listen to what the song sounds like with the vocals in the mix. This is me of my fantasy. I'm riding the wake. This new side of me. Yeah.